How y'all doing? Baby, it is Wednesday, halfway through the week. I hope your week is going good. The weather down here is really nice. The sun's shining uh, about 70-something degrees. So, yeah, real nice down here. I hope your day is going great and your weather is good. If it isn't, hold on, baby. There's other storms out there we can talk about. Well, I've spent the day watching the impeachment trial or listening to the impeachment trial, depending on whether or not I was in my truck or at home. And uh, I, I'll, I'll tell you what, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you what I, what I, <laughs> shit, I ain't starting over. Yeah, I'm going to say what I think about this shit. Every time I see a Republican get up there, what they're arguing is what they're, what they're, the questions that are being asked in some way pertain to please give me a way that I can, I can get out of voting for witnesses. Please tell me that, that I don't have to do this and because I, the only reason I can't do it is because the law said bull, some bullshit they're trying to pull out of their ass to try to get uh, out, of, uh, out of having to vote for witnesses. And that's what this is about. Every time the Republicans get up there and ask some stupid shit, hey, uh, my own Ted Cruz, uh, tell me why the House subpoenas are not legal. What Ted Cruz and them want to know was the subpoenas that the committees in the House of Representatives that well, during the investigation of Donnie, uh, they're illegal because there was no resolution on the House floor for impeachment to investigate the impeachment until uh, later on when uh, House Bill 66, whatever it was, passed and nancy said investigate him then the subpoenas would be legal until then all of them are legal so we can't listen to anything of that all that subpoena it's bullshit it's it, it, it's you can tell you're sitting up there listen to little slimy lawyers trying to get out and tell you why you don't have to do your legal responsibility why you can toss your moral responsibility out the window to why you can tell, toss your oath out the window. Give me something to tell my constituents that they'll buy when you disgrace your 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 seat. My my by my Senator Ted Ted Cornyn. I mean Ted Cruz and John Cornyn. With that, with the so wait a minute, wait a minute. I gotta say this. What it was that I had it written down here? Brain dead Ted and John Cornhole. My two senators up there trying to find some little weaselly technicality that they can get off on. Well, my, you can't charge my client because, uh, uh, because the video that you found of him murdering the, the, the victim, uh, you found that uh, without asking for it properly, so you can't admit it, and, and he's innocent. That's what they want to do, find some little, little, little crack, some little way. And that was the plan, baby. Oh, and then John Bolton came along. Hey, look at here. I got a book to sell, baby. It's going on sale. And by the way, there's a little leak. And John Bolton, Donnie's national security advisor, comes out and say, yeah, he did it. And he did it for political reasons. It was a drug deal. Him, Rudy Giuliani, and Mick Mulvaney cooked up. That's what John Bolton's going to say. So, by God, that's what the Senate is fighting hard now, not to have witnesses. And guess what, baby? The White House jumped in that fight, baby. All of a sudden, John Bolton cannot publish his book, baby. Oh, you know, there's uh, some national security interest in here. We got to take a look at here, John. Uh, seems uh, you're not always right here with your security stuff, so uh, we're going to block it for national security reasons. That's what the White House is doing now. And they'd thrown in a little threatening letter to John Bolton to shut his mouth. Ain't that ain't that sweet? Your government at work, your 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 president out there to the world screaming, nobody gets to know. He has not claimed executive privilege on any of this. None of this. He has not said that that is covered by executive privilege. You cannot you cannot look at that. He has not done that yet. Everything he has claimed, he has claimed under under blanket immunity, they say. Uh, I had it written down here. Can't find it with my eyes real fast. It was like, a, 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 you can't investigate me. You can't look at nothing. You can't get documents. You can't get witnesses. Nothing because I have immunity. And we've heard him say that. The Articles of the Constitution gives him the power to do anything he wants to do, including, according to the Republican Party, fix the 2020 election rig it baby 
do whatever you have to do. Get some foreign interest in here. Hey, they want to save their country, a nation that is under war, active hot war from Russia, and we're going to hold back military aid until Donnie, the con man, the crook, the thief, gets what he wants. What's he want? Biden, baby. Why? Because Biden came on the scene all of a sudden. What are you going to do about Bernie, Donnie? Don, what is Trump going to do? Okay, Biden, he's losing and pull. What happens? He drops out. Your plan works. Your evil stinking plan that you pulled against Hillary works against Biden again. And then what do you do about Bernie? What do you do about Elizabeth Warren? What are you going to scramble around to find some other country to dig up some dirt? Because that's what this is. Trying to rig an election. That's what this whole impeachment is about. It's about a thief in our house. And he's trying to steal an election like he did the last one. Well, would, 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 would Russia please help me? Now it's Ukraine help me. Some crook help me. And I'll extort the shit out of you if you don't. That's what we're dealing with. But these senators, these senators up in our house arguing, asking these questions. I'm proud of the Democrats every time they stand up and speak. They're talking about the evidence. What about witnesses? You know, if y'all 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 call Bolton, well, we might have witnesses too. Good. Bring them up there. Let him call witnesses. Show me a witness that is relevant to the case and not some campaign ad for Fox News. And we'll be glad to let him in. That's what Schiff said. Paraphrasing. There's no bullshit in this. This is not a Fox News set here that we're dealing with. This is the House of the Senate. The Senate chamber. It is supposed to be the, 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 the haven for, for, for patriots to argue and guide our country. And what we're seeing right now is just a, a bunch that are willing to hide the crimes of their, of their glorious leader under some threat or, or some, some reward, I guess. I don't know what it is. There's too much, baby. There's too much at stake in this whole thing. Donnie wants to do basically what he has done with every business that he's ever had, tie everything up in court. Oh, you, you work for him, you're a contractor, and I owe you, sue me. I'll take you to court. You didn't do it right. I saw something wrong. Well, I'll check with my lawyer. I'll tell you what it is. Whatever business dealing he is, it's all had to do with lawyers. You attack him, he'll send lawyers to, to drown your ass in legal expenses. That's the way to shut you up. Attack the press, and then you have Fox News over there that is just nothing but a pure propaganda machine that is just disgraceful to the nation, disgraceful to any true American that watches that bullshit. Should be ashamed of themselves. These things are coming down, they say, to November and that you should wait to November and wait for the re-elect. Are you shitting me for two reasons? One, that's the election he's trying to cheat in. This election coming up is the election that he is accused of trying to interfere with. You think this is the only little scheme they got going? No, I don't think so. So what do we do to stop him? We impeach his ass. We can't wait to November. A lot of things could change between now. Hell, a war could break out. There could there could be there could be a a pandemic breakout. No, we'll have to we'll have to institute some kind of uh, martial law here to restrict the flow of people. Let's don't let no voting go on right now because hell, you could be content. That kind of shit is what I worry about. He will come up with. I ran a war. You bet he'd do it. Let's let's. Let's make a big distraction. We do have a virus spreading across China, crown the world. I have no faith that my president is any concerned about it. I don't think he gives a shit. And that's the problem, baby. He doesn't give a shit about the things that me and you do. Do we really want the power of our government in this man's hands? I don't. He's, he, he's, a, he's a very 
unstable maniac is what he is. He's a narcissistic asshole who believes he is the United States. He personifies America. And America is not that pile of shit. We are not liars, cheats, and thieves. We don't preach democracy to one country and then turn around and extort them to lie for you. That's not democracy, baby. That's not spreading the, the American way. It's spreading the way of a con man. That's why it's important. Our vote, we're the backup, baby. We're the backup team. Our people are on the floor of the Senate right now trying to convince senators to allow the truth into this trial, allow witnesses, allow documents, pull back the curtain and expose us for what it is. And they're fighting very hard to keep you from seeing shit. It's all insinuated. You don't got no fact witnesses. You got no documents with any fingerprints on them. You got no material because he has all the material. He told you that. They don't have any material because he's covering up all of his shit. That's what this is. That's what the Republican Party is, is in cahoots with a huge cover-up of everything that this man could do, has done, will do. If they let him get by with this, baby, as long as, hey, Senator so-and-so, Senator Cruz, Senator Senator Graham, Lindsey Graham, really, really? Giuliani says, uh, Lev Parnas says Giuliani told you uh, that Lindsey Graham had to start uh, a discussion on the Florida Senate, really, to uh, sanction against certain Ukrainians that get a little elbow bending there, little Lindsey, is that what it is? Whoa, Devin Nunes, we find out he's in, what kind of shit is the Republican Party trying to hide besides just Donnie, themselves, baby, themselves, because they're complicit in this shit. They allowed it to happen. Some of them were involved in making it happen, and it's our voice that gets about. Anyway, I'm running long. I hope you all enjoy it. Remember, there's a lot of voices out here. Uh, one of our friends, and I had it written down now, I can't find a piece of paper, uh, made a comment to somebody. Somebody said, I was thinking about making a video about uh, the, 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 the things of the day. And this lady, uh, had told her friend that you should listen to John Bernabeau. Thank you very much for that. And, 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 and he just started out with a rant. You know, that's how Richard Anderson started out. Randy Curvin, Leo Sahaki, Andy uh, Pogoda, uh, John Heron. They all started out with uh, me. I started out with just a camera angry. And it doesn't matter how many viewers you get or how many friends you have. All that shit is, is out the window when it comes to the message. So I encourage anybody, if you're watching, anybody, if you thought about turning on your camera, baby, turn it on. And you don't even have to be as pretty as me. Shit, that's pretty hard to do. I understand. But you could, you could, point, the, you could point your camera at a tree and use your voice. But if you're so inclined to be involved in this discussion, I urge you to do just that. And those people that I've mentioned, Randy Kervin, Leo Sahaki, Andy Paguda, Velda Snyder, John Heron, Richard Ann, and it doesn't matter who it is. Give them an ear. Give them a listen. Let them inspire you. Because we all have to inspire this together to make it happen. Because it looks right now, I'm looking at a, at a message over here from the New York Times, and it says, that the GOP leaders express grow, growing confidence that they can block witnesses. They're getting confident that they can block the witnesses. They've come up with enough excuses now. They can tell their constituents some kind of uh, legal, legal bullshit to justify their dishonoring their oath, their willingness to turn their back on the truth. That's what they're looking for. Anyway. Like, share, subscribe. John Bertavo, Blue Dot in Texas on Facebook. And John Bertavo. John Bertavo on Facebook. Anyway, uh, we'll be live tomorrow night on uh, the family tomorrow night. I'll look forward to that. I love this family tremendously, but it, it, it's got to grow, baby. This wave's got to rise up. Listen to everybody's voice. We're all preaching the same thing. We have to be together on this. I love y'all. Y'all take it easy. We'll see y'all later. Bye.